Hey guys, how's it going? This is Tom from Upside Down Shark, backstage at the Camden Assembly here in London, and I am joined by arguably the most handsome artist in all the world, Austin Thomas, also known as Spooky Ghost Boy. How's it going? Pretty good. Pretty good. How about you? Pretty good. Happy to be here with you. Happy to be here with yeah, you. Yeah, I'm stoked. So, for the unfortunate few who don't know who you are, would you mind just introducing yourself a little bit? Yeah, sure. Um, I'm Austin. I've got a project called Spooky Ghost Boy. Uh, play some chill indie songs, and uh, hopefully they're good. Yeah. I think we can tick all of those off the list. Just, yeah. So. I'm a big fan of like the raw shark test where you have like the blotches and you've got to say what comes to your mind and everything like that. I, it's because, you know, it's, it's good to get to know each other a little bit better. I don't have one of those to hand. So uh, instead, I was going to ask you, if you could be a ghost, what ghost would you be? It can be a, like a real story of a ghost, like real as ghosts get, or it can be like from a movie or a TV show. What Basically, what's your favorite ghost? Oh, I, th- I think I'd be the ghost of Elvis Presley. Oh, that's a great choice. Honest. Yeah, sometimes I think I feel him a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I don't mean, that sounds a bit sinister if, I, if you ask me, but no, that's, that's a cool option because we've been sort of practicing it, the guy, camera guy and me, and uh, hey, cameraman Dave, and uh, we, uh, we were doing like Casper and Slimer from Ghostbusters, and it was all like the generic ones, but Elvis is a dope choice. Does, he, does he have a ghost? I'm not sure. But... I mean, if, if anyone deserves a ghost, then it's Elvis. <laughs> that is a great choice. Um, but you've been touring the UK with Cave Town, yeah, yeah. breadth of the country. How have you found the tour so far? It's been great. It's been great. Uh, we just came off of a six-week US tour before this one, so it kind of feels like it never ended. <laughs> just kept on going. So is this the uh, first time you've toured the UK? I've done two other tours in the UK. Okay. This is the third. Yeah, but I love it. Every time is great. Where's sort of been your favorite places to play or just visit in general? Hmm, I uh, I saw Bristol for the first time on this tour. I love Bristol. I did too. It's pr- basically my favorite place in the UK. Yeah. It's so nice. It was very cool. It has such a chill, arty oh. vibe. It's great. Banksy comes from Bristol. Yeah, I saw Banksy in person. That was incredible. You did not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You saw the real Banksy? Not, not, not the Banksy, but the, his, 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 his work. His work, yes. Yeah, I see yeah, what you yeah. mean. I thought you like you were going to like reveal on camera right here <laughs> the identity of Banksy confirmed no, by Spooky Ghost no. Boy. I would never do that. <laughs> What do, you, what do you know then? Uh, you? <laughs> I can't, can't say, can't say. Um, but it feels like lo-fi uh, is having a bit of a resurgence at the moment. It's like really going through like a boom period. Sure. Um, as a fan of the genre myself, what would you say the appeal of lo-fi is? Mm, I feel like there's, um, I feel like there's something appealing about stripping back kind of like the bells and whistles a little bit and kind of just like it kind of just leaves you with the raw essence of the song a little bit mm-hmm. that's what I always found appealing about it uh, now I feel like like I don't I don't know I feel like there's different levels of lo-fi and now I kind of sit in like this mid-fi area you know um, where it's like less about stripping it back and more about like there's just a cool there's just a cool sound when you have something like bit crushed or or it's screwed up in a way, you know? Um, but I, yeah, I feel like that's kind of the appeal of it. Awesome, awesome. And do you find the, the love here for lo-fi is as strong in the UK as it is in the States? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. So, all the, the, one of my favorite kind of lo-fi artists is from the UK, so. Who, who's maybe, that, if you mind me asking? Uh, her. Oh, okay, I don't know. Sorry. I don't know if they're like lo-fi, but it's like bedroom pop, you know, uh-huh. kind of in that in that uh, area. But yeah, I awesome. love them. I have to check them out. Um, and uh, so, what you actually say after the UK, you're basically touring the world. You're going to Australia. Um, I, I've got this right, haven't I? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was going to say. I was a bit worried there. Uh, and Europe, and basically everywhere. So, um, is there any one particular place that you're most looking forward to playing next? Uh. I th- I'm pretty stoked about Australia. I've never yeah. been there. Um, I also am looking forward to being in Amsterdam again. 
Love very, Amsterdam. Very exciting place. Lots of things I've never seen. I, I have been there once before, but I've never seen them outside of Amsterdam. Uh, so, yeah, enjoy that. That's probably what I'm looking forward to the most. Awesome. Sounds yeah. amazing. Sounds amazing. So your latest single, Hello, It's Me, dropped literally today yeah. at time of recording. Um, what's the story behind the song? Uh, the story's a little... Uh, little real talk uh it's about uh, i got a a couple years back i got this diagnosis with this headache condition uh they're these rare headaches called cluster headaches and they just mess you up sometimes they're called suicide headaches oh god they just come for like hours every day that sounds Um, terrible yeah it was really sick uh but uh yeah i had them for like six months um, and, it, and it just kind of kept me in the house for a while because you couldn't really do anything. Um, but I wrote that song about what that was like. Eventually they disappeared. Um, and whether or not they come back, I don't know. But, That's terrifying. Uh, but yeah, no, I wrote that about, about that song. I see. Wow. <laughs> That's some heavy stuff. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> um, but uh, here at Upside Down Shark, we talk about the breadth of pop culture, not just music, but video games, TV shows, movies, um, everything. So with that in mind, if you could have a spooky ghost voice uh, song featured in any of the above, or even like something done like a wrestling theme or something like that, mm-hmm. what would you have a spooky, go- boy, spooky ghost boy track featured in and why? Mm, I've been fiending for a for a track in Grand Theft Auto. Oh yeah, yeah that would, would be dope. I would love that. Riding around, listening <laughs> to my own tunes, that would be great. That's immersion. Yeah, yeah, that is I would, immersion. I would love that. That'd be great. That's a great choice. That's a great choice. Also, I can see it in a Tony Hawk game as well. I think that'd oh, be pretty cool. That'd be, that'd pretty cool. be nice. Yeah, then, bring back Tony Hawk. Let's make it happen. We need a proper proper sequel to Tony Hawk Pro Skater 4. That's uh-huh. when the series ended for me. Yeah, That yeah, was the yeah. best one. But um, we also like to advocate positivity here at Upside Down Shark. Mm-hmm. And one of the ways we do that is through inspirational quotes. Um, one of my favorite is, I can't believe I ate the whole thing, because it works in basically every facet of life and it just really keeps me going in the dark times. Mm-hmm. So with that in mind, what would be your inspirational quote to share with the world? Hmm. I don't know if it's um, a well-known quote or anything, but I remember reading something a, a long time ago that kind of changed my... Uh, philosophical interpretation on life and it was um, something along the lines of like um, st- like stop striving for happiness and start striving for wholeness um, and, ju- and it just elaborate on like like you know experiencing everything is part of like a whole experience mm-hmm. as a human um, I don't know I, I always kept that with me that's so that's really good that's the closest thing I've got perfect perfect uh, that's a really really good one um, so, what does 2020 have in store for Spooky Ghost Boy? 2020, I am, um, I've been working on a record for a while, um, hopefully gonna have that done in 2020, and doing a hell of a lot of touring. More touring, uh, always good. Yeah, and, um, and yeah, hopefully putting out, putting out a record at some point too. Yes. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for me. Keep him busy, keep him busy. And so as we sort of call it, blah, I can speak words, as we sort of wrap up the interview, um, we are Upside Down Shark. So with that in mind, Austin, what is your favorite shark? And before you answer, it doesn't have to be a real shark. It can be from pop culture. So we've had like uh, Bruce from Finding Nemo has been an option. We've had the avant-garde. We've had someone say Penguin from Batman Returns. I can't remember how we got there, but we got there. So what is your favorite shark? So I actually used to be subtly obsessed with sharks had a shark themed bedroom very cool very uh, cool yeah the yeah. mako shark oh. are you familiar with those absolutely guys? they are very streamlined their teeth are insane <laughs> you, <laughs> seriously they're wild you should look up some mako teeth pictures i need uh, to look up more pictures of mako teeth yeah 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 that's it <laughs> that's my pick <laughs> Brilliant choice. You're not the first person to say that. We've also had like the goblin shark is always in there. The one that lives for like 500 years. Um, obviously the great white and um, the oh no sorry it's the Greenland shark that lives for about 500 years. The goblin shark's the one that's just an ugly. Yeah yeah. Ugly yeah. But yes, Mako, great choice. Support our sharks. <laughs> anyway, um, is there anything else you would like to plug before we wrap up? Mm. 
oh, I've got a song I just put out today. I'll be all across Europe and uh, Australia in the next couple of months. Uh, yeah, come see me and say hello. That's, that's about it. There you have it. Thank you very much, Austin, for your time. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, thank you. And thank you very much for watching. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more weird interviews and shark talk wherever we go. And make sure to pick up Hello, It's Me. Uh, You can listen to it on Spotify, Apple Music, all the good music places. It's just everywhere. You can't miss it. It is. This has been Upside Down Shark Radio. Thank you very much for watching.